Hey everybody, it's Jenny Civi. Last week I talked about a brief overview of the HVAC system, but you can't really talk about HVAC without talking about pressure. So let's do a quick overview of pressure before we get on to all the different parts of the system. So let's cue the intro and let's get started. So the reason we need to talk about pressure is that there's a relationship between pressure and airflow. And you need to know airflow to make sure everyone's comfortable and to make sure you can offset the heat load. So we're going to start with the basic pressure equation. Total pressure equals static pressure plus velocity pressure. So let's put these down here. Okay, so what is total pressure, static pressure, and velocity pressure? So let me make a little room. Let's draw some ductwork, and you have air moving through this ductwork. Static pressure is exerted in all directions, while velocity pressure is only exerted in the direction of airflow. The thing is, velocity pressure is hard to measure directly because there's static pressure in the direction of airflow as well. So we usually use total pressure and static pressure to calculate velocity pressure. So velocity pressure equals total pressure minus static pressure. So let's make a little room again and let's look at how we measure pressure in our ductwork. A pitot tube is used to measure pressure. So let me draw this. It's actually kind of a tube inside a tube. One hole is in the direction of airflow, and one hole is perpendicular to airflow. So you can take pressure readings from two places here and down at the bottom. So there's kind of a horrible drawing of a pitot tube. And then this is connected to a manometer. A manometer is a measurement gauge that is filled with a liquid. So as air pressure comes in, it pushes the liquid down on this side, say to about here, and that's going to be your total pressure. And over here, it pushes the liquid down a different height. So the liquid level would look something like this in your manometer. So this height corresponds to your static pressure, and this height to your total pressure. And the difference in the two heights is velocity pressure. You can also take the static pressure measurement on the back side of the pitot tube. You'll see this a lot in VAV box airflow sensors. Now let's make a little room again and look at why velocity pressure is important. Knowing the velocity pressure allows us to calculate the velocity of the air. So velocity is equal to 4,005 times the square root of the velocity pressure. And knowing the velocity can help you get the CFM. So CFM equals area times velocity, where CFM is your cubic feet per minute. That's your airflow volume. And the area we're talking about is free area. So let's look at a quick example. Let's say we have a system that has a total pressure of 0.75 and a static pressure of 0.3. So your velocity pressure is 0.75 minus 0.3, which is 0.45. Your velocity is 4,005 times the square root of 0.45, which comes up to 811 feet per minute. Now let's say this is an 8 inch round duct. Make a little room to do more calculations. So the airflow, the CFM, is equal to the area of this 8 inch round duct times the velocity. So now let's calculate the area. So the area is pi r squared, which equals 16 pi, which equals 
50.24, but we need to convert this to square feet, so let's divide it all by 144. And that gives us 0.35 square feet. So 0.35 times 811 feet per minute is 284 CFM. So these three equations are how you determine airflow from pressure in a ductwork. These concepts will come up frequently in future videos, so now we're ready to go on to the different components of the HVAC system. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.